Do you want to inhale or exhale on British American tobacco? We'll take a look. Britain's in the news these days because of the vote over the European Union, but let's look how it affects or it might affect one of its biggest companies, British American Tobacco. We all know the name, it's, we all know the brands, it's probably the largest, second or third largest tobacco company in the world, headquartered in the UK, a dominant British name, British American Tobacco. Let's have a look at the, at the chart here. <clears throat> you can see from the last 10 years, it's been nothing but up and up. Almost sort of defying gravity, I would say. Look at the, here is it, you know, this is 2012, 2013, when people thought tobacco would be regulated into submission. It has not been. Why has British American Tobacco done so well? Revenues have grown while volume on cigarettes have decreased. Why is that? Well, more regulators, more interference in the tobacco business. So, for the investor, it means a more efficient company, higher multiples, more, better brands, better brand reach. Will it keep going? That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's the interesting question around British American tobacco. Not that the, Britain's in the European Union, not that it's uh, a well ma poorly managed company or well managed company. It's an expensive company. It trades at 18, 19 times earnings. The yield is about 4%. So it's a very rich proposition you're putting your money into. Will it go to 25 times earnings? I don't see it. I see paper, tobacco, a brand around it. I see a lot of taxes worldwide. I see a lot of opposition to tobacco. It has never diminished any of these stocks. Philip Morris, Altria, Philip Morris International. These are all the big names. Japan Tobacco is another we've looked at on this program. They've all been yield plays. They've all been cash cows. They've all defied gravity. Each time someone like me comes up and stands in front of a camera and says, be careful now, tobacco is a risky, dangerous product and it's bad for your health, which all of which I tend to agree with, it means nothing when it comes to the stock market. But there's the, the health warning, there's also the investor warning. 18 times earnings is not a bargain. You're buying yield, you're buying market share, you're buying a series of brands that have global reach, and you're also defying gravity. You hope that regulators don't take the brand away and just put blank labels on every cigarette package. That's your risk. I say it's too expensive at these prices. Maybe down the road, if you can get it for $100 a share, not $127, it will, it will do you well. That's all the time we have today on The Investment Advisor. I'm your host, Matthew Stevenson, in partnership with Dukas Copy TV. Remember, money can take care of you. It cannot take care of itself.